Hi, everybody. Let's take a look at Common Sense, written by Thomas Paine. It was published in early 1776, and it's one of those key American documents that would inspire the colonies to fight for their independence. Now, before we dive into the author or even the document itself, let's take a look at some of the background that led to its publishing. And the first thing to keep in mind is that the colonies had been in revolt against England for about nine, ten months at this point. And the first Continental Congress had met in the summer of 1775, and that's where they had appointed George Washington as the general of the Continental Army. And the key thing to keep in mind is that there's still this really big debate in the colonies, and it is over, do we go for full independence against England, or do we go for improved representation within their political system at the time? And, and people are kind of split in arguing about this. And so enter Thomas Paine, who is going to change this conversation or this debate. And a quick little background on Thomas Paine himself. So he was actually born in England, uh, and he tried a variety of careers growing up from the naval trade to teaching and it wasn't until he met ben franklin one time when ben franklin was visiting in london and franklin actually encouraged him to come to the colonies and so thomas paine moved to the american colonies in 1774 and this is only about two years before the official re revolution is about to start and when he arrives he arrives when they are in the midst of this revolt and he takes a job as an editor of a, the pennsylvania magazine and he's really inspired by how the British are treating the colonists. And he begins to form these really kind of harsh views of England itself. And so in early 1776, he's convinced he needs to write this. And he writes Common Sense. And when he publishes it, he actually hides his name from the publication. And his overall thesis in Common Sense is that the colonies needed independence, not improved representation from the British government. And also... This idea of a king as a leader, that's ridiculous. Rulers should be chosen by the people, and it shouldn't be hereditary. Common Sense is only 80 pages long, and it's actually kind of considered a pamphlet. And Thomas Paine broke it into four different sections, and the first section was called Origin and Design of Government. And here he makes the case that elections are the right thing for all governments because they represent the people. In the second section, it's titled of Monarchy and Succession. And here's where he makes that argument that hereditary kings are not the way to go for governments. And he has probably one of his most famous lines of the whole document of more worth is one honest man to society and in the sight of God than all the crowned ruffians that ever lived. Essentially saying one honest worker is worth more than all the kings who have ever lived in history. The third section is called Thoughts on Present State of American Affairs. And here's where he emphasizes independence. That is the key to America's future here, not partial representation. And in the fourth and final section, titled On the Present Ability of America, he emphasizes the colonies are more than capable on their own with all their natural resources and the growing population to sustain themselves as their own country. And finally, let's take a look at the impact of common sense. This pamphlet is a huge success and pushes the majority of colonists in favor of full-on independence. It was written in a style that was very easy for everyone to understand and published in newspapers throughout the colonies. It was very forward thinking for the day. We take the idea of independence as the obvious choice back then, but it wasn't so simple. England was the biggest world power of the day. They had just won a major war against France that had solidified their power around the world. And independence would be no easy thing against them. Also, every country in the world at this time is on a monarchy of some type when Thomas Paine is sitting here calling for independent elections. It was very brave thinking. However, its biggest impact, five months after it was published, the Second Continental Congress met in Philadelphia. And largely because of its popularity, they decided to write the Declaration of Independence, stating their desire once and for all to break away from England.